for a while. Elaine Chuli in goal for Toronto, 15-0-0. She's won all of her starts this year. It's not one nothing yet. We haven't started. But the way <laughs> Toronto scores, it could very well be that after we drop the puck in just a moment. Yeah, there's so much firepower on both sides. Offensively, combine that with two incredibly strong goaltenders. You're setting yourself up for really exciting matchup. Kind of unsure of which way this is going to go. Is it going to be a track meet with offense? Is it going to be a stalemate with defense? A lot of good things that can be coming from this game. Still haven't had a penalty. That would have been a good opportunity for the first Long one. Long stretch pass ahead. Grant Mentis, it rolled off her stick. She goes to the wraparound, and Ives kept it out. Wow, I don't even think anyone knew where that puck Now Dark Angelo, the captain. Thrown out in front, they score! What a pass and what a finish! Emma Woods! Just Look at this feed. Oh, all day on the, the knee. Very nice. It's not an easy pass to handle either. Uh, Woods no, it was rolling. Yeah. You can see she almost didn't get all of it, which might have made it even harder for Ives to predict where it was the going. The opportunity to get that goal and that oh, beautiful play. Now Gerard with some space. Gerard in on goal. She scores! <laughs> Gerard with her 10th of the season, and it couldn't come at a better time. She's got a wicked shot. We see it all season long. Right through the wickets, a great shot, unassisted goal, and it's a 1-1 game. I truly can't believe she didn't stop that one. It's a rare miss for her. Just slides right between the legs under that one pad. Didn't get it quite down. In the corner, Tinker, Woods, deflects, sitting there. Ives, it has, it goes to the five hole, and they score. It was sitting there behind Abby Ives, and Toronto poked it in to take the lead. Marcuse finishing off that play. Might be taking a look at it for some, well, what I would think would be goaltender interference, but don't see anything there that prevented it. Just a, a good follow-up effort by Marcuse to push that puck over the line. There you see, yeah. it sneaks right through the five hole when Ives moves her leg over to try to adjust, and that's a good goal for Marcuse. And uh, two to one, everyone is going to be and Conway. It's a combination of yeah. Conway breaks in on goal to the forehand. She scores! What a move! Amanda Conway ties it at two, and she is pumped up. You see the speed from Conway all the time, but what a finish! Great pass up, allows her to sneak one right by the far pad of Chuli. Look at this move. Takes it to the toe, taps it off to the far side. She had Chuli totally beat out. Really nice play, and she is pumped. Look at that celebration, tie game at two. Ferris tried to knock that down at center, but couldn't, gets all the way to Weber. Weber in the zone, pass across, Pat save, they score! On the rebound, Connecticut takes the lead. It was only a matter of time. Another look, this passing, great job from Connecticut. Read it across, the shot in the slot, initial save from Chuli, and nothing you can do there. Vlasic taps it home for a huge go-ahead goal. We had just talked about how Wolfiler, 9 Eastern on ESPN2 and TSN2. Sicarda off the face-off win. Eastwood tees it up, and they score! Off the deflection in front. The Connecticut lead didn't last long. We are tied up at three. Brand new hockey game once again. Momentum to shift at all. Off the win. Shot from the point, deflected in front. No mistake about it. And for Connecticut, that's a huge blow. Really takes the wind out of their sails. And we're back to square one again with the 3 3 game. Fourth goal in Marchment. Forced the turnover at the blue line. Kennedy Marchment works into the zone. Marchment to the backhand. And she scores! Back and forth we go. Marchman puts the whale back on top. All right, here, let's look. Let's take a look at it. 
Here she goes. Two defenders on her. Not a problem. Truly disappointed. Misses it with the glove hand. And we are back to a one-goal game with the lead in favor of Connecticut. What a move that was. Looked like she was going to go backhand. Full. We got to hit refresh. Yeah. The refresh button always coming in handy. <laughs> Kept in the zone by Toronto. Thrown out in front. Ives is there, jamming away at it. And once again, Ives keeps it out. And more pushing and shoving after the play. Yeah, things are definitely heating up in this third. And Connecticut taking no chances, letting anyone touch their goaltender. Monroe there uh, enforcing that. Very Stoppage clear. for a review to see if this puck crossed the line. But I'm not 100% certain with all the bodies lying around it that you can really see anything. Agreed. It's going to be really tough, especially with no goal called on the ice, to expect anything to change with that view. Yeah, still can't see anything there. Ives is Ives could be sitting on top of it in the goal, but if you can't see the puck, they can't rule that a goal. Right. You see it all the time. You kind of have Wow. So we have just gotten word that that's the game tying goal. They call that a goal. And we're tied at four with 6.39 to go in the third period. So a face-off coming in the Toronto zone. And in all likelihood, the one seed will be decided tomorrow. And it holds true if things remain the same that, once again, Connecticut securing at least one point on their home ice after having to battle back. Then they ultimately giving up to to allow this overtime matchup. Well, they got what they wanted, a face-off win and a one-time chance, and Turner fanned on the shot. So, Katie Goss, we are going to overtime, tied up at four. Your own home routine. Whatever it is, it's working for the Whale because they haven't lost in regulation yet. So we're underway in three-on-three -three overtime. Gerard with Marchman and Turner for Connecticut. Woods, Boquist, and a turnover here. Gerard had it roll off her stick. Threw it out in front again. Davison takes a hit against the boards. They let that go. Marchman weaves in front. She shoots. Oh, snared out of the air by Chuli. Oh. What a play by Marchman, but a save by Chuli. Flashing the leather to make that glove save. Marchman can't believe it. Chuli's not thrilled she had the clear shot to begin with, but she makes the save. And Marchman just skating away in disbelief. This game could have been over right away. Gerard lost a stick. Bramentis on the backhand. She scores! How did that find the back of the net? MGM ends it in overtime. It went off the stick of Marchman, I think, right in front. She's crashing the net to try to support. If you watch the cross, it, it, it hits right off and in. So here's another look, the speed taking it down low. Then look, crosses it right in off the stick or the skate of Marchman, who was just following the play. Yeah. And just snuck in inside the post, too. Oh. Yeah. That's tough. And Marchman. She's been one of the most impactful players on the ice for the Whale. That's a heartbreaker for her. 